Coaching and teaching is not black and white. It's not at all. Basketball is a fluid game. You don't stop and regroup after every play. You have to flow from one play to the next play and back and forth, and you're going from offense to defense, and you have to be able to compete on both ends. Some guys, some players have it. They are in the gym. They're going to be in the gym. They're going to come to the gym. They're going to push themselves. And other ones, you have to coach a little differently. They're not all the same. I think athletes that really learn how to work hard and learn how to work with people are people that do very well in the business world. They're motivated and they know how to work with people. It's an ongoing process if you really want to be the best you can be. I've never felt the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. I've never had that feeling. And I've been coaching here for 45 years for one reason, we win. Every coach is a leader, but every team and every player has to have leadership skills. If you don't have some leadership skills as a player, you're not going to be the best player you can be. But it's about the guy that does the right thing and shows everybody on the team, this is how you do it, on and off the court. And that guy doesn't have to say a word. You can have a positive effect on everybody, even somebody that doesn't stay with you and play f with you for three, four years. It might be one year, two years. And the whole key is to do your job every day, to try to teach people every day what to do, how to do it, and how to act. At the end of the day in coaching, it's about wins and losses. I think the lesson, though, you learn is if you do everything you can, you may not win everything, but you're going to win enough. That's what I want people to hold me accountable for.